Easy Talks webinar is a powerful webinar platform for online training, marketing, and live events. Now I'm going to show you how to use the Easy Talks webinar platform. Here we go. Here's how to schedule a webinar via Easy Talks. Go to the Easy Talks website at www.easytalks.com, sign up or sign into the Easy Talks account, and then you'll see this dashboard. Find the webinar section on the home page, or you can click on the webinar button from the left side menu. Click on Schedule a Webinar. Here we have options such as Details and Waiting Room. Details. On the Details page, you can add the topic of your webinar. You can also select the webinar type. Live Webinar. As the name suggests, it's the live streaming webinar. Automated Webinar is a pre-recorded and live simulated webinar that you can preset to a particular time to automatically start your webinar. On-demand webinar is also pre-recorded, but the registrants can watch and replay it at any time. Next, you can set the date, time, and time zone for your webinar. Registration allows you to decide if your participants have to register to join in or not. If selecting On, you'll notice Registration and Thank You options showing above. We'll talk about this in a moment. After enabling registration, you can also get a payment option to create either a free or a paid webinar. If you select a paid webinar, you need to set a price and a PayPal account to receive the payments, as well as choose the currency. Easy Talks also enables you to stream your live webinars on Facebook Live or YouTube Live. For YouTube Live, you'll be required to activate your YouTube account for live streaming 24 hours prior to your webinar. For more information, please refer to this link to see all the instructions. To do Facebook Live Streaming, you can select it here. Now you're asked to input the server URL and the server key. For more information, please refer to this link and follow the instructions. Finally, you can enable the auto recording right here which will automatically start to record your webinar and save the recording to the cloud storage. Waiting Room The waiting room will be the first thing that participants see when waiting for your webinar to begin. Here, you can upload your own cover and add your webinar introduction, such as its topic, agenda, or webinar host to keep your audience engaged. You can also personalize it by changing the font size and style. Registration Page the registration page allows you to upload your own logo and set the fields for the participants to fill out when registering for your webinar. Some fields, such as first and last name, are required by default. You can decide to add more fields depending on what kind of information you want to collect from your audience. Here we have phone number and company name. Also, you can find more options on the right side. By clicking on the checkbox, you can add or remove the required information. The Easy Talks registration feature is a great way to know more about your audience. Thank You page. On the Thank You page, you can add your own thank you information to get connected with your audience. This will be visible to the registrants as soon as they fill out the registration form. Now you can press Preview in the upper right corner to see all the settings you've made. If you're happy with how everything looks, you can exit the preview in the upper right corner. And now you can publish it by clicking Publish. After publishing your webinar, you have a few options here such as Invite Panelist, Invite Participant, and Back To List. Now let's go back to List to view My Webinars. My Webinar Page On My Webinar Page, you can see the list of all your webinars. Right-click on the webinar you've scheduled or click on the three dots on the right side if you're using your phone or a tablet. In this drop-down menu, you'll see these options. Preview is used to preview the webinar details. Start will start your webinar. Edit will allow you to edit and change your webinar settings. Copy the registration URL. By copying the registration URL, you can post it on your social media platforms or other channels so that more people can register for your webinar. Invite. You can invite panelists or participants through emails. View joining details. You can view the details of your webinar attendees, including email, name, joined time, exited time, etc. Duplicate. 
You can duplicate the same settings with a different webinar ID and link when scheduling another webinar. And lastly, you can close or delete the webinar. Here's how to invite people to join your webinar. There are different ways of inviting people to join your webinar. You can invite people as panelists or participants through emails, Easy Talks contacts, or posting the webinar link on your social media platforms or other channels. Copy the registration URL. By copying the registration URL, you can post it on your social media platforms or other channels so that more people can register for your webinar. Now let's select Invite. You'll see Panelist and Participant. Panelist is the one who can make a presentation in your webinar and interact via video, audio, and text chat, while Participant is the view-only attendee who can only interact by text chat. Select Invite by Contacts if you've imported your contacts to the EasyTalk system. You can also invite by email address. You can go to default email and invite via your default mailbox, or you can invite by entering the email address in the text box below. Then the invitee will receive an email that contains the webinar details and instructions about how to join or register for your webinar. Here's how to check the registrant's details. On the My Webinar page, you can see how many people have registered for your webinar. Click on the number in the Registrants list and you can see all the registrant's details. Right-click on the registered email to view joining details or resend the invitation to remind your registrant. Here, you can also switch a participant to be a panelist or vice versa during your webinar. Here's how to start your webinar. Let's click on My Webinar. This brings us back to the list of our scheduled webinars. Now, right-click your scheduled webinar and select Start to start your webinar. This will open the Easy Talks launcher to redirect you to the Easy Talks app. Select Use Current Device and then your webinar will be successfully started. If you haven't installed the Easy Talks app, it'll automatically download the app initially. You can also go to the Easy Talks website and find the Download Center at the very bottom of the page. Then download and install the Easy Talks app based on the device you're using. Once you've installed the Easy Talks app, open it and sign in. Then click the webinar icon. Now you can see all the webinars you've scheduled. Select a webinar and right click to start it. Click on Use Current Device and then your webinar will be successfully started through the app. This is another way to start your webinar. Thanks for watching this video. For more information about Easy Talks webinar, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave us a comment, or visit our website at www.easytalks.com. See you next time.